For expanding this structure, we're going to start with the CH3 on the end. And then bond that to the CH. And I'm going to highlight this CH as a reference point. All right. Next to that, you have CH2, CH3 in parentheses. Any group in parentheses like this is going to be attached to the carbon to its direct left. So what I'm going to do is just put coming off of this carbon. You know, if that were an NH2, I would write NH2. But in this case, it's CH2, CH3. All right, from there, now we have three CH2 groups. So we'll put those in a row. There's the first one, the second one, and the third one. Then we have another CH. Let's highlight this one in green just for a reference. So here's the CH. Now that one has a bromine next to it. And that bromine is attached to the atom to its direct left. So we'll put the bromine in. From there we have a CH2. Then we have a C. And let's just highlight that one as a reference point. And this one has three CH3 groups attached to it. To write this as a skeletal structure, let's highlight the longest chain of atoms, which is this. Let's number it from left to right. We have nine, so I'm going to draw a zigzag with nine atoms. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's number that. There are no hetero atoms in the chain that we need to deal with, so that's good. Now we just need to add our groups in. So on carbon 2, we have a CH2, CH3 attached. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line. This will be my CH2 carbon. And then I'll make a bend to the CH3 carbon. You can draw it in this direction or in this direction. Both are correct, both are accurate. On carbon 6, I have a bromine. And then on carbon 8, I have two CH3 groups. So I'll put one and two.